Okay, everyone. So now we are going to develop a Windows application. And here in this Windows application, we will make a program. With the help of that, we will change the text of label and the text box. And this we will do on the click of the button. So first of all, I am making a new project here and I have given the set text. So this is the name of project. Now here I am having the form. First of all, I need a label because I want to change the name here. So this is the label. Now afterward, we are taking a text box. So this is the text box. I am dragging and dropping. Then afterward, we are taking the button. So now let's say this button name we are changing from here. Let's say click. Now other name I don't want to change. So I want to do the coding for that. Now I am double click on this button because I want when I click on the button, the name should change. So what I want, I want that whenever I run this project. So I am running it. You can see that there is some kind of form which is coming as the output. If I click over there, so this label name and text box name should be changed. Name means whatever the text inside that. So we are going back on the coding as uh, on the button we want to do the coding. So double click over there. Now afterward, we know that the text box and the label, they are having their names. So this is the label one. So I'm taking it. I will write label one dot text. So changing the text. Let's say we are giving some name. Let's say I'm giving my name here. So you can provide your name. So label one dot text we have given. Let's say this is the text box So text box one. So going on the coding here, we are writing the same thing. Text box one dot text. And that is equal to, let's say we want to provide certain name dot net framework. So this is how we can provide any name. Now let's say if you want to run this project, if I click on the play button, start debugging, you can see that the label one and the text box. If I click here, the name is coming, the label one dot text. So label name is changed and text box dot text text box is changed. So this is how we can just fulfill the requirement of the program, but we can even modify this more. So let's say I want that the button name should also change it means the name is click. I have already modified. I want to again remodify. So I will go on the coding part and I'm saying, let's say button one dot text. I'm changing the name update. So this is the new name of the button I can provide. So I'm going again. I'm running the project click over there you can see that even the name of a button is changed let's say we want to add one more thing here we want to change the form name this form one i want to change so i'm going back on the coding we know that the active form means on which we are working that is called me other forms are named like form one form two but on the form which we are working that is called me so me dot text means in this form we are providing the text let's say we are providing av that is a short form of the name so yeah this is the text now i click on the start debugging now you can see that form one label it is blank and click now i am clicking on the button so you can see that the form name is changed to a av and text name is ankit verma then afterward text box one is here earlier on the button there was some name like click it is updated so this is the same way let's say if i start this project one more time and if i'm writing something let's say i'm writing my name here again now this should be updated see the effect you know that the button name is click and already the name is written over there into text box and label one is having its own name form is having its own name if i click all are changed so means if any value is already there after clicking on the button the new value will come so label is having the name this one then text box 
then afterward button and the form so this way we can change the text of any of the control it may be the form or the label or the text box or the button 